my hair is still really wet because I just got up from the shower. I'm gonna be making this for lunch today. It's kind of like this um, kimbap sandwich. It looks really good and I just kept thinking about it last night. So yeah, I'm gonna be making this for lunch. <laughs> Chubby to go get medicated spa because his skin has been getting worse and it even started bleeding around his chin area because he has been scratching it like non-stop so I'm gonna take him to this groomer that we have never been before and he thinks that we're gonna be going to the park <laughs> Many hours later. Chibi. Hi. <laughs> Look so happy. Are you happy? He had to shave off his chin area because he has been scratching it like really aggressively and there's an open wound there and all that's bleeding. So Thank you to KSD5 for sponsoring this portion of the video. You guys know I love my KSD5 phone cases. I haven't taken this off ever since the first day I got it. So today, I'm gonna change it to this cow print one that I got. So cute! So these are the Ultra Impact case and it's engineered with two-layer construction of Chi Tag which provides military grade protection for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet. And today, I'm gonna test it out for you guys. This is the before, no cracks or anything on my screen. You can also customize your phone cases according to your liking. You can change the color of the bumper or even add your own initials on it. The antimicrobial coating also helps to keep your case germ-free, killing up to 99% of bacteria, which is really nice to have, especially now that we're in the middle of a pandemic, so you don't have to be constantly wiping your phone. And also, other cases are made partially with recycled plastics. So if you guys are interested, you can go to kcify.com slash christine to get 15% off your order and we can have matching phone cases. Just made myself a yogurt bowl for breakfast today. It doesn't look that pretty, but it's fine. I'm currently attempting to make myself a crochet checkered bag. I've seen it all over Pinterest and I really wanted one for myself. So yeah, this is me trying to make it. I'm just following a tutorial that I found on YouTube. So I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. So this is the bottom of the bag. As you can see, it sort of curves up a little bit. So now I just have to do the rest of the body of the bag.
Hi guys, so it's been about two days since the last clip I filmed because I basically just spent the entire day yesterday being in this crazy grandma mode and I finally and I finally got done crocheting my bag and wait a minute it doubles as a halter top <laughs> just kidding but can we just take a moment and appreciate how cute it turns out I love it <laughs> so this is my fit for today I'm gonna be taking this bag out I'm gonna be heading out for dinner right now so yeah let's go I made this using air dried clay yesterday. I kind of made this a little too small, so now they don't really fit my finger. <gasps> I broke it. <sighs> what? They will look really cute in pictures, but I don't think I'll ever wear this out just because if you see it in real life, they look really tacky. Um. <gasps> Okay, so now you guys know, don't ever make rings out of soft air-dried clay. Use regular clay instead. <laughs> um, <laughs> I made this little thing as a apple pencil holder. It's so cute. I thought of making this just because I really needed a place to store my apple pencil whenever I need to charge my iPad because I have dropped this several times whenever I just keep my apple pencil like this. So, yeah, <laughs> look how cute it is. It's so squishy. <laughs> so yeah, now my Apple Pencil has a place to call home. 